That's a, a box I built a while back. It's actually, it's not a Gator box. It's a SKB, but um, same same concept. That's a full length rack box. Uh, in that box right there, there's uh, Yesu FT897 and it's connected up digitally. There's a signal link in that box. The TYT 9800, which is kind of the clone of the Yesu FT8900. So in that box, you got all mode, you got two sides of UHF, VHF. You got digital connections uh, for that. It's a great box in the field. Drop it on the table, plug it in, hook up some antennas and power, and you're ready to go. Okay, I'm going to show you some other stuff here. I'm going to switch over to the other camera. Um, I got a, uh, another box that's in progress right now that I've been working on. Um, this box you can see here, this is a Gator box. It's mostly done, ready to go. I've tested it out a couple times. It's, it's field deployable. Again, the, the concept behind this box was I wanted to be able to take out in the field um, not only a voice communication box, but I wanted to take out some some heavy wind link capability. Often, if and when we have a deployment for uh, areas in the Los Angeles area, I'm typically sent up to a hilltop. I'm four wheel drive capable. I can get pretty much anywhere where the road's open or I can get to it. So having the ability to take something up there, put a wind link gateway up, um, as well as have voice comms um, is very useful. We've got two Alinko radios in this box here, two meters and 220. Both of them, you'll see when I flip it over, are ready to go for uh, digital modes. I do have a signal link. The signal link's hooked up to, this is the Yesu uh, 8900, again, quad bands, 70 centimeters, 2 meters, 6 meters, 10 meters, as well as another Yesu. This is um, FT7800, 2 meters, 70 centimeter radio. So I can deploy three different radios here with digital modes, whether it's VARA or packet, as well as have some voice stuff that I can monitor at the same time and then switch back and forth either way, depending on what's useful given the deployment. The nice thing about these boxes is once you get everything mounted in here, it's ready to go. You take off the plate, you deploy it, you hook it up to power antennas. And I, I tend to keep the power antenna separate from these because I don't know how long I'm going to deploy. I may take a really big battery. I may take a generator. I may take a little battery if it's going to be a short amount of time. You can also see in this box mounted under here, there's one of these little B-Link puck PCs. It's all in here, ready to go and connected. I'll flip this over for you and show you what the back looks like. Again, everything's mounted up in there. It's all pretty much ready to go. We've got the power poles. It's ready to plug into to my power source, or I can separate them off depending on what I want to support. You connect up your antennas to it, and then there's the USB connector for the signal link that I can pull out to the front, connect to a laptop, and then I'm ready to go. The other thing I found that's handy with these boxes is I get these little mesh bags and I and I mount them Velcro to the, to the cover. And inside these bags, I have microphones, all the accessories that I need to connect these radios. So it's always with them all the time. Pop it off and I have it. It's ready to go. I'll show you another project that we've been working on. Put in the screen here. This is a project we built for the city of Calabasas. They wanted to have some field deployable Winlink clients and gateways. And this is the gateway variety. It's all built out. There's the Alinko radio. We use the uh, the rim boards for these. There's the Puck, the Puck PC. We put a 12 amp hour battery. Plus there's a port on the outside to either charge it externally or add another battery. There's an antenna port on the outside. We can literally take these boxes put them somewhere where we have a Wi-Fi signal and we know the Wi-Fi signals and these they're marked in our community. The Puck PC already knows about, so it can already connect to it with Wi-Fi. We plug it in, we turn it on, we deploy this out, and then we have a little one link gateway that we can set up or use it as a digipeter, depending on what the, uh, the issue is we need in the community. And it's really nice because it's self-contained. Once you turn it on, you can close the box up and it, and it will run in this fashion put the, uh, the antenna connectors on the outside. Again, there's a, a port for the battery as well. We can take this anywhere, drop it somewhere, and it's ready to go. Speaking of gateways, we did a whole series on becoming a gateway operator. If you want to look at the series that we put out, episodes 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, and 67, walk you through the whole process of what it takes to take that plunge into becoming a gateway sys operator.